Hi everyone today, we're going to take a look at the 5 best budget stereo amplifier on the market for this year. First we're going to show you our 5 best picks, then we'll talk about what you should look for before buying a best budget stereo amplifier. You can find timestamps and links to all the products we mention in this video down in the description below. Let's get started. Some of the best budget stereo amplifiers on the market are also the ones that deliver the highest bang for your buck. Back in the day, if you had a lot of gear lying around it's easy to tell that you are an audiophile. However, technology is all about making things more accessible and removing clutter. People owned a powerful pair of speakers slash headphones, a stereo receiver, maybe even a Bluetooth receiver, a preamp that let them choose input slash change volume, and a power amplifier that drives the audio device. Fortunately, you do not need all of that to enjoy a good listening experience today. A great pair of speakers or headphones and a stereo amplifier is all most people will ever want. For the speakers, you can consider our picks for the best studio speakers as well. Modern home stereo amplifiers replace the purpose of all of the things we mentioned in the previous paragraph. However, these products can get expensive, as is common. In the realm of high-quality audio gear, a stereo amplifier adds detail and loudness to low power sources. This is a must-have if you are using headphones or speakers with your Blu-ray player, turntable, desktop setup, etc. It allows you to drive headphones and speakers with better and louder sound. Number 1. Fosai Audio BT-20A Budget Stereo Amplifier. Our last pick is for the folks who want to spend the least amount of money they can while still getting a clean signal from their source. Fortunately, Fosai Audio comes to the rescue in this situation. The tiny BT-20 a stereo amplifier doesn't look like all that much, but it packs clean and pleasant audio inside. For this price, that's more than what we could ask for. Fosai Audio BT-20 a stereo amplifier Fosai Audio is really trying to appeal to the masses with this product. They know most people will prefer the convenience of Bluetooth over a wired connection. This is why this tiny amplifier supports Bluetooth 5.0 and has a rock-solid connection as well. It also packs quite the punch for such a tiny stereo amplifier. It's great for a small living room or even for a desktop setup, which is why we have labeled it as the best compact budget stereo amplifier out there. You might want to take a look at our selection of the best bass headphones for this one. With all of that said, just remember to adjust your expectations accordingly with the price. This is quite a cheap stereo amplifier after all. Drawbacks include the lack of extra inputs and the fact that there is a bit of distortion at higher volumes. If you don't max out volume all the time, this should not be too much of an issue. System of footprints as a result, I'm having a lot of fun with this little guy. Perhaps the most effective $1.60, I listen to a wide variety of music, from current pop to classic rock to Bach, medieval music, and so on and I bought this for a small amount of money. Number 2. Sony STR-DH190 Budget Stereo Amplifier. Sony has sold a lot of units of this solid stereo receiver. The STR-DH190 is a great example of what happens when you nail the basics. While it lacks a lot of the bells and whistles of the pricier competitors, it needs to be said that this stereo amplifier is not aimed at or marketing to audiophiles. That's not who this product is for. It's more so for families that want a decent audio setup in their living room. The STR-DH190 is perfect for that purpose. The sound quality is rich and warm, with plenty of bass and treble. For average living rooms, it's quite powerful. Not to mention, the design is excellent which earns this stereo the title of the best design budget stereo amplifier on our list. Just don't go expecting this unit to pair well with extremely high-end speakers might be worth taking a look at. It will get the job done, but won't be able to really bring them to life. It's for the person that wants to pair their iPhone with Bluetooth and wireless stream music from their devices. Needless to say, that person isn't exactly a raging audio enthusiast. Other than that, it is a solid unit for the price. If you are looking for subwoofer outputs, DTS processing, or digital inputs, then you're looking at the wrong product. If all you want is a decent sounding stereo amplifier that won't break the bank and is reliable, this is one most people should go for. 
Number 3. Marantz PM6006 Budget Stereo Amplifier. Marantz is not a new name, in fact, it has cemented itself time and time again in the audio world. The PM6 XXX series has been very popular when it comes to budget stereo amplifiers. While this one is more expensive than its predecessors. That is for a good reason. This is perhaps the most well-rounded stereo amplifier the company has put out yet, and also might possibly be the best overall budget stereo amplifier on our list. As you can guess, the PM6006 is the successor to the well-received PM6005. It retains most of the same internals as the preamp and power amp components. No circuits interrupt the path of the signal, and that's what makes the components discreet. Marantz did a lot of fine-tuning with this amp, and you can definitely notice the subtle changes in audio with most tracks. It is smoother, more detailed, and in a sense, more refined. Other than that, the PM6006 is a modest upgrade to its predecessor. It gets a second optical input this time around as well. The feet at the bottom are better, as they help in reducing unwanted vibrations. Furthermore, it features an improved power supply and extra metal housing. This limits the impact of the digital stage on the analog signal, something purists will appreciate. Of course, the sound quality will vary depending on what headphones slash speakers you use with it. It will also vary depending on the type of speakers, such as studio speakers or gaming speakers. To our ears, this stereo amplifier sounds charming and elegant. It's not afraid to boast its clean representation of music, with some refined details added into the mix. It will sound great to both newcomers and veterans of the audio world. No complaints in terms of sound. You can revel in the nuances of whatever track you are playing through this. It also has a bevy of I.O., which is essential for any good stereo amplifier. The build quality is solid, and it doesn't take all that much space. The only problem is that it lacks Bluetooth connectivity. Other than that, we have little to no complaints with the PM6006. Number 4. Yamaha RN303BL Budget Stereo Amplifier. This is by far one of the most popular stereo amplifiers out there. It is also the most well-rounded on this list. While the above two options are excellent, we think this one will appeal to the general population more. This is because of the good sound quality, Bluetooth support, and appealing price tag. It also helps that Yamaha is a name that everyone recognizes. It might just be the best value budget stereo amplifier on our list. This Yamaha receiver slash amplifier combo is going to appeal to the masses. Why? Because it has a lot of modern features that a lot of other audio brands don't focus on. This means it supports Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, Amazon Alexa, and more. It also works directly with streaming services thanks to a separate app that you can download. It also has a lot of inputs and has a lot of power. The sound quality is quite good for the price. It's not going to replace your tube amps or $1,000 equipment, but it's not trying to. The people buying a stereo amplifier at this price won't care either. The audio is clean, well-balanced, and pleasant to the ears. You can't ask for more at this price point. Build quality is also quite solid, and it's good that it has phono as well as optical inputs. So, what's the catch? Well, there are two reasons why some of the enthusiast-grade audio gear does not support modern features. The first reason is sound quality, as purists always want to play their own local files. Things like Bluetooth might not be better to them as much as pure performance. The second reason is that this stuff can be difficult to set up. For this amplifier, you need to download an app called MusicCast to take advantage of streaming features. Setting up Wi-Fi and Bluetooth is not exactly easy either. However, that's a price worth paying for someone who needs good sound and all the features in a budget stereo amplifier. Number 5. NAD C316BE Budget Stereo Amplifier. NAD Electronics is a Canadian audio company with headquarters near Toronto. They have a team of enthusiastic audio engineers that are trying to make hi-fi audio equipment accessible to more people. The brand is renowned for its cost-friendly and dependable audio gear. All of their products focus on quality rather than quantity. 
The NADC 316BE is a prime example of that purpose. More budget-oriented speakers can be found in our Best Budget Computer Speakers Roundup. One look at this stereo amplifier and you know that it means business. It has that sort of all business and no-nonsense look to it. The company took a pragmatic approach with the design, and we know a lot of folks are going to love it. The industrial look means that this amplifier is sleek and stealthy. It's also quite slim, which is unlike other stereo amplifiers. There is no display here either, so it's really going for a minimal approach. The latest version also includes a phono preamp built inside. Connectivity options include five level inputs, all of which are powered by what NAD calls their power drive power amplifier. It also includes a headphone jack for people who prefer to get their audio through a good pair of headphones. The main volume knob is large and feels excellent. You also get a remote with this entire package too. This happens to be one of the best sounding amps under $500. It can drive any speakers or headphones with ease and really brings them to life in the process. Don't let the RMS power fall you, this thing can get quite loud if need be. In fact, it outperforms other amps that are louder on paper. It also sounds cleaner than some of those options. Overall, this is a great choice to go for if you don't want to break the bank. The best part is that you might not even need to upgrade for a good period of time. We can also safely say that this is the best build budget stereo amplifier on our list. The only thing missing here is Bluetooth, which means you'll need to buy a separate Bluetooth receiver.